God has not forgotten you, my friend. God has not forgotten you. I don't know what you are passing through. I don't know the challenges you are going through right now. I don't know the pain in your heart. I don't know that challenges. Maybe in your business, maybe in your health, the doctors say that there's no cure for that sickness. Or the sickness your loved ones is, um, is passing through. You have looked at yourself from the beginning of the year till now, and according to you, you have not achieved anything. But I want you to count your blessings and name them one by one. You will see that the Lord has been good to you. You are still in the land of the living. Many people have the same testimonies you have been aspiring to have. Many people have those things you have been asking of God, but they are not in the land of the living. I want you to smile. Jesus loves you. The Bible says, We be made in your faith, and I will drive comes in the morning. Don't give up. Don't give up. It's now yet over. Don't give up, child of God. I want to encourage you this morning. They say you will not get married. They say you will not have your children. They said you will not be healed again. That the sickness is unto death. Do you remember King Ezekiah in the Bible? Even God himself sent a message through the prophet to go and tell King Ezekiah that he should prepare his household that he's going to die, that he will not make it. But what did King Ezekiah do? What actually did he do? Can we take an example from King Ezekiah? The Bible says he went back to God in prayer. I said, no. No, Lord. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Remember all I have done for you. Remember how I have served you in the ways of the Lord. That is why it's very paramount. It's very important to serve God faithfully. So in the day of calamity, You'll be able to call God and refer the good works you have done in his kingdom. King Ezekiah went to back to God in prayers. The Bible says your words. And God told the prophet, Oh my God, I have opened the book of remembrance. I have opened the case file of King Ezekiah. I have seen that he has been faithful. Tell him that I'm adding more 15 years. Your his age. Can we go to God in prayer? That sickness is not a death warrant. We impact God in prayer. Lord, give me another chance to live. Give me another chance to serve you faithfully. Give me another chance, Lord, to win souls for you. Give me another chance to make it right. Give me another chance. I pray for you. May God turn every negative thought or report. May it turn into positive. That sickness will not take away your life. In the name of Jesus. I want to encourage you once again. From the book of Isaiah chapter 49. Isaiah chapter 49 verse 15 and 16. Isaiah chapter 49, 15 and 16. The Bible says, can a woman forget? Has not seen child and not have compassion on the son of her womb. Surely they may forget, yet I will not forget you. See, I have inscribed you on the palms of my hands. Your words are continually before me. Your words are continually before me. Your words are continually before me. God says, has not forgotten you. They are not forgotten you. You say, even if a 
Woman forgets her own nursing child. He, our God, will not forget us. He will not. It's God that makes a way where there seems to be no way. He's the lily of the valley. He's the bright and morning star. He is the Alpha and the Omega. I don't know what they are passing through. I want to remind you that God is still God. He said that your, He has written you, your names in His palm. He knows. All you need to continually come before Him in prayer to remind Him of His words, of His promises, and He will bring your miracle. He will bring your testimony to pass. Child of God, don't give up. 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 Don't surrender. Consign that marital favor, God will do it for you. Consign the fruit of the womb, God will do it for you. Consign that healing, God will do it for you. Consign the miracle jobs, God will do it for you. Consigning your health. I don't know, maybe you are trusting God for a document or promotion in your place of work. God Almighty never sleep or slumber. He that keepeth Israel never sleep nor slumber. He will not sleep over your case. He will not slumber over that which concerns you. I pray for you in those months. The Lord will show you mercy. He said he had not forgotten you. He said that your names are inscribed in his palm. I pray that whatsoever that is giving you sleepless night, whatsoever that is stagnating your life and your destiny, whatsoever that has been present that your glory, let it be lifted up right now in the name of Jesus. And I pray whatsoever you're asking of the Lord, and making you to shed tears, may God turn it into testimony. The Bible says the book of Psalm, weeping may endure for a night. Joy surely comes in the morning. I declare your joy has come. 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 So shall it be. In the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. You will have your testimony. Cheer up. Cheer up. Cheer up. Cheer up. Nothing is too difficult for God Almighty to do. Not even that which you are passing through. With God, all things are possible. With men, it is impossible, yes, because they are limited, but not with God. With God, all things are possible. It is well with you. The Lord will lift you from glory to glory. May God put laughter in your mouth. I pray that God bless you. May He honor you. May He lift you from glory to glory. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. And amen. God bless you.